Think about the tools that you currently use to administer the security of your business application. With the deployment of Active Directory, you can centralize the management of users in your organization to one location. In this small demonstration, we'll walk through the process that happens in every company when a new employee starts work. In this exercise, the sales department will create a new hire, Jim Hence. Jim will be working as a sales order entry person. As an IT administrator, you have to add the new user to the network and the business application. With Microsoft Dynamics AX 4.0 integration to Active Directory, your work is simplified as you only have to set the user up once in the Active Directory and associate their login to Dynamics AX. Let's start by looking at Microsoft Dynamics AX. You'll notice here that we're looking at the Human Resources module. We're looking at the list of employees that have been entered. You can see that Jim has been entered in the Employees Master File. So as an IT administrator, generally you may not have access to the HRM module. So the user administration is created and set up under the administrations area of Microsoft Dynamics AX. So before we can create the user, let's add Jim to Active Directory. What we're looking at is the Active Directory Users and Computers Management Console. All we need to do to add a new user to Active Directory is use this Management Console. If we go to the Users group, we can right click on this and select New, and then select a new object which is a user. This will start the new user wizard. So we can create the attributes of this user as we enter them into the Active Directory. So I'm going to enter Jim his first name and last name and then I'm going to create a user login name for Jim. In this particular case we'll just leave it as Jim. I'll click next on the wizard and we'll assign a temporary password for Jim that will be used when he first logs into the network. In this particular demonstration we'll just remove the option for Jim having to change this to simplify the demonstration as we go forward. I'll click next and then you'll see that the wizard will be finalized and ask us to confirm the information by clicking Finish. This will now add Jim into the Active Directory. As an administrator, we can also create additional attributes and assign them to Jim's profile in Active Directory. I've double-clicked on Jim in the Active Directory console, and you'll notice all the different properties that we can associate. One of these is addresses. Let's set up a new address. Okay, so we've associated a new address to Jim's properties in the Active Directory. The benefit of doing this is that we can centralize the administration of that employee's data. We can actually use this later in Microsoft Dynamics and extract this back into the HRM module. Let's switch back to Microsoft Dynamics. We'll close the employee master file that we were looking at before and then we'll change to the administration module. As an IT administrator, I may only have access to this to administer Microsoft Dynamics AX. So let's go into the users. You'll notice here that we've only got one user created. By default, it's the administrator. So what I want to do now is click the Import button on the user's form to start my Active Directory import wizard. If I click Next, what the wizard allows me to do is select the domain that we've deployed Microsoft Dynamics AX. In this particular case, it's dynamicsax.local. So we'll select that and click Next. This is what the wizard will use to find our users to administer them. So you'll see in this particular case, this is a list of users that have been added to Active Directory that we haven't associated with Dynamics AX. I can nominate Jim to be added to Microsoft Dynamics AX by clicking and checking the Import box. Let's click Next. Now we can associate Jim to a user role. You'll see that this is some sample roles created. What I can do is find the specific role that Jim has been associated with. In this particular case, Sales and Marketing Order Processor. I can select this role and add Jim to that role. Let's click Next. This will allow us to finish the import wizard and allow the import wizard to add Jim to Microsoft Dynamics AX. So the next steps as an administrator would be to associate options for this user. I can click on the user options button. This will allow me as an administrator to change things like the startup company for Jim, uh, the specific language, the specific help files and additional attributes that control that user's experience in Microsoft Dynamics AX. This is also the same user options that the user has when they go up tools, options, menu item. What we can also do is associate relationships for this particular login for Jim back to the employee. So let's click User Relationships. We'll notice that it's Jim here. I'll go to my General tab 
and then I'll select it's an internal user which allows me to find the employee record for Jim. So you'll notice that Jim has been uh, associated here with this login. So this is used for example in our enterprise portal that's built on Windows SharePoint for example. Let's close that association. What we can also do is look at the user log for example. The user log will list statistics for this particular login. You'll notice that as we haven't logged in for this particular user there's no information displayed here. You'll also notice that we can track the online time so I can look at how long this particular user has been logged in. This is a specific report that we can run and display information. Again because the user hasn't logged on at this time you won't see that information. Now that Jim has been created let's log on. What I'm doing in this particular instance is I'm running on a machine that's running Windows Server 2003. What I'm going to do is select my icon from Microsoft Dynamics AX. I'm going to choose a specific option on Windows Server 2003 that allows me to run as that particular user, which is Jim. So I'm going to run this console. I'm going to select a following user, which is Jim. And this will allow us to simulate Jim logging onto a computer. So let's click OK. So this is Jim logging on now to Microsoft Dynamics AX. So you'll notice that this is Microsoft Dynamics AX started up. You'll notice quite a few differences to the client application that we were using before. One of them is a limited set of navigation pane options that Jim has. You'll also notice the toolbar is missing and then access to a few features is removed. Also notice that the user interface will adapt to the security permissions that are assigned to that role. So Jim is associated with the sales order entry role and therefore he only has this set amount of permissions. What this allows Microsoft Dynamics to do is simplify the user interface for that specific role. So notice that Jim has been assigned to the sales order entry operators and he only has access to the menu functions that he needs to do his role. So you'll notice that there's no access to the setup area for example. Let's close this client now that Jim is actually logged on. We can start to report on this user's particular login. If I go back to Microsoft Dynamics AX as an administrator I can start to analyze the behaviors or the usage of this particular user. If I go into user log you'll notice the specific entries that we have for this user. I can look at some general information about this particular entry, about which client machine, which client type, the specific build number that this user used to access Microsoft Dynamics AX. I can look at statistics overall of how many times in the life cycle of this user this user is logged on. If I'm an IT administrator and I have a large amount of users to administer, I can also make use of the business analytics features in Microsoft Dynamics AX and use the pivot table features. What we need to do first is refresh the pivot table to SQL analysis services. In my administration module, I can go into setup, business analysis, OLAP, and then access my cube definition manager. From here, I can access my specific users cube. I can go into the cube instance and then I can reprocess that to refresh the user log entries to SQL analysis services. The cube submit successfully refreshed on analysis services. Then we can go back to our user management. Back on our user log management, I can access the pivot table. From here, it will give me a view of this cube. So you'll notice if I remove the filter, all of the logins that we have. So I have the logins for the administrator, which is logged in approximately 51 times, and I can see the logins for Jim, who's just a new user. And we have a user login time of one, which is the login that we did earlier. I can then analyze this information. For example, I could look at it for, from a date point of view and start to look at what is our busy periods over, for example, in this particular case, this date represents February. I can look in the user counts across the specific days in this month to start to look at when our heavy periods are for user access onto the system. And then I can start to administer how I need to manage my hardware infrastructure to support Microsoft Dynamics AX. You notice before when we looked at the user interface for Jim, he only had a specific amount of functionality. Let's go and have a quick look at the user permissions administration. In my administration module, I can go into setup and I can access user groups. From user groups, I can find the specific user group that I need to administer. In this particular case, Jim is associated with the sales and marketing order processing group. I can also see which users are assigned to this group. I can see Jim has been added to this group. 
and then I can look at the specific permissions associated with this group. If I click on permissions, this will give me a list of the permissions associated with this group. So you'll notice if I go into accounts receivable, I've only got access to a specific set of amount of functions. You'll notice that Jim, who's associated with this sales and marketing order processing group, didn't have access to setup and therefore it's not enabled within the permissions group. Now as an IT administrator I can help the business administer business rules with the security permissions that are available in Microsoft Dynamics AX. One of these could be that a user in a specific user group doesn't have access to a certain number of records. We can use the record level security permissions in Microsoft Dynamics AX to control this. Let's go and have a look at how this is set up as an administrator. In my administration module, I can go to Setup, I can go into Security, and then I can go into Record Level Security. From here, we can create a new Record Level Security profile with the wizard. Record Level Security allows me to select for the specific group which permissions I want to set up. Let's create it again on the Sales and Marketing Order Processor group. I can now select the specific area of Microsoft Dynamics AX that I want to administer the Record Level Security on. Let's select Accounts Receivable and then we'll select Customers. This will allow us to now create a query on the specific customers area so that we can limit the amount of data that the user can see. Let's go in and set up the query. In this example, the business want to limit the amount of customer records the specific sales order entry operators can see. So let's specify a query to say that this user can only see from 4,000 to 4,006. Let's select OK on this. This will create and set up the record level security permissions for this user group. Let's log back on as Jim. So you'll notice again that we're able to log on as Jim based on his role that he's assigned to, that security group, he has access to the specific functionality in Microsoft Dynamics AX. Now if we go into the customer's record, you'll notice with that record level security, Jim only has access to customers 4000 to 4006. So this implements our business rule and as an IT administrator, it's very simple for me to administer Active Directory and Microsoft Dynamics AX together. So Microsoft Dynamics AX, integration with Active Directory, provides a simple infrastructure to make access to the business applications. Microsoft Dynamics AX also provides a rich set of tools to manage and audit the user access of the business application. These tools combined can reduce the support required from help desk staff and hence help in reducing the total cost of ownership of the business application.